Welcome to my channel again. So today I'm going to be doing a facial on Cleopatra. Goddess Cleopatra. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and first, before we get started, I'm going to check her skin type just to make sure like what type of facial I'm going to do for her. Obviously, I'm going to be using my own products for her skin type as well. So we're going to just check her skin type, skin conditions just to get started. And then from there, we'll check it out. Yay. Yay. look okay your skin is not bad at all to be honest are you sure yes <laughs> i don't know i guess i'm a little obsessive with it okay i would think like you're just you're like a normal to dry skin type because i don't really see anything crazy you just have like a little bit of hyperpigmentation and I think that's really it. Okay, and you have a black head right there. But be careful. I don't know if that's. I have a black. Are you talking about the dent with the black? Yeah, that's a black head. Really? I've had that forever. I thought that was a beauty mark. Let me see. It looks like a black head. It was oh. a little hole. A black head could be. It was. Yeah, I've had that hole for years. Yeah. I thought it was normal. Yeah. You learned something new. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. So, once you. What are you going to do? You're going to pop it? So I'm not gonna pop it, like I'm gonna extract it. So I use like a calm down extractor just to remove that. Wow, yeah. so all those, all these years I had a freaking blackhead in the middle of my forehead and yeah. I thought it was a beauty mark? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a sign of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, it's what it is. Hmm. So her skin type is more like a normal skin type, but normal to dry. You think the winter has a thing to do with that or no? Um, honestly, probably, yeah, but at the same time, like because you're normal, it's a good thing, okay, and it's very rare to see a normal skin type. Oh, yeah, you just have like a little bit of hyperpigmentation, which is not bad. Like, I think that's just like it's not even like sun exposure, it's just because of the, the waxing from previously, mm -hmm. and um, and you have like a little bit of blackheads, okay, very little. Yeah. Aside from that big yeah, one you're just in my like, forehead. You're just more dry. Like, I see a little flakiness. And that's it. So, so I'm just going to write down, like, what I see. So, I'm going to write down the flakiness, hyperpigmentation. Okay. Also, you have the blackheads, which are the comedons. The comedons? Yeah, that's another name for blackheads. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I know you were saying like you have a little bit of like the under eye circle, but yeah, I'm not just sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, because it comes and goes. It's not like a permanent line, but yeah. I realize like I haven't been sleeping the past couple weeks, and yeah, and it's not like too too visible. Okay, I just wanted you to turn on this side. Okay, and you also have the DPN, which is like a lot of people get that. Um, it's just from like, uh, sometimes it's from sun exposure or it's hereditary. So it's like right under your eyes here. I don't know if you ever noticed it. Like a line? No, they're just like little black dots. Oh, I thought it was yeah. beauty marks too. It looks like beauty marks, but some people like, as they get older, it gets like more on their face. Okay. And, um, it kind of looks like it could be like little beauty marks everywhere, but elevated. Uh, kind of like that or little moles I guess you can say yeah I feel like yeah. I've always had that and yeah. that's definitely genetic because I've seen people in my family have that mm -hmm. as well yeah but your pores are like super small oh yay because my room was telling me her pores are big and yeah. they got big over time so I was like I don't know if I have big pores I'm like I don't even know what my no. pores look like and normally like for people that have pores that are a little bit larger that just means that their skin is probably probably a little bit oilier okay yeah <laughs> 
Okay, let me just check your, your ears. To see if they're clean? Yeah. As long as I just check the ears, if there's any blackheads there too. It's just a little dry. Yeah. Okay. I know my ears definitely get side. dry. Just a little bit. Surprisingly, dry. no matter how much I moisturize my hair, and it all drips down there. Cause I also like do, um, I like to do like a facial on the ears as well. So that's why I'm just like checking to see how her mm -hmm. skin is as well. I cleanse it and I take out all the dryness Ooh. and all of that. Yay. All right. So we determined how your skin is. Better okay. than I thought. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot better. And, um, that's why like. For instance, I don't necessarily want to do microneedling because I don't think it's necessary. Yeah. To be honest. I don't think I need it. I don't think you need it. I know. I, I know I made my skin sound really worse than what it was. Yes. <laughs> hey, man. I'm like, trying to stay I was like, the game what? because I, no. <laughs> when you have nice skin, sometimes you take yeah. it for granted and yeah. you don't do what's necessary. I just want to, I know you're the specialist. That's why I can see you. So. Because I was like, what's going on with your skin? Like, is there something bad? Like, whatever. But it doesn't mean microneedling won't work for you. Yeah. I just don't think it's I like. I need it necessary at this time okay yeah so what i want to do for you today is a hydrofacial okay so i think that's going to be really good it's going to hydrate everything since you're more on the dry side yeah it's going to help moisturize and it's going to help lift and like you know keep your skin very nice supple and moisturized okay that's like what we want that. yeah okay so i'm going to get the products for her skin now yeah it could be a little dramatic sometimes <laughs> is that a steamy cloth? This one? Oh, I don't know. I thought it was a hot cloth. You know when you do that thing where you put the hot cloth on? Yes. I am going to be doing that too, though. Yay. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, you want me to tell you the steps to this? Yeah, sure. Okay. So Ooh. I'm going to bring in the steamer. I guess I'm supposed to close my eyes. Yes. <laughs> it's like being in the... The sauna, but you know the one where it has like the eucalyptus steam come down? Yes, I love that. Yeah. Okay, so how's that? It's okay, the steam? Mm -hmm. If it gets too much, you just let me know. No, oh, it feels like it's um, taking out some toxins or something. Is that what it's doing? Yeah, it's helping to take out the toxins and it's also opening your pores so that, let's say, like, we want all the products to get in there as much as possible. Okay. And how often would you recommend me to do this like type of facial? Normally, I do recommend people to get facials at least once a month, but that's like all depending on your beauty regimen. Okay. Yeah, and also like a lot of times you don't want to go home with just going back and using soap on your face or whatever. Like you want to have like a be a a good regimen at yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's something I want to talk to you about too because I don't even use a facial cleanser. I literally. I take oil and I rinse my face with cold water. Okay. That's literally it. Okay, so we're gonna get started with the cleansing. So I'm using a cleanser that's a little bit more milky. And this one is the multiplex cleanser that I have. And the reason why I'm using this is because it also leaves a nice moisture barrier when it's taken off.
sponges to clean off your skin. Mm -hmm. That was so relaxing. I hope I'm going to fall asleep. Is that the extracting of the blackhead? <laughs> no. So this is the toner. Ooh. Okay. So just expect like a little spritz. Okay. If you can breathe, don't worry. Sometimes I also use another machine called the Luca Championnat. Oh, I use this one. So they both make the toner. It smells good. What scent is that? So this is Mandarin. Mm. Okay. Yes. So this is the Mandarin toner that I have. And the reason why we also put toner after cleansing is because it balances your pH. Okay. Yeah. So anything that's harsh from the cleanser, it removes that harshness. Okay. Yeah. It's good to know. Is that something I should be using regularly, toner? I know some people use it, but... Yes. It's so important to use it after cleansing. Okay. Yeah. And a lot of people, they don't do that part. They just... Well, I don't even cleanse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just rinse. Yeah. So that's why, like, you want to do that part as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm just trying to find the right products to use as a wash because yeah, I find my skin can be sensitive sometimes. Okay. So now I'm using the candle nut scrub. So this one, it also gives, like, a microdermabrasion effect. Okay. So at least you're getting, you know, another type of deep exfoliation, but just with something that's more of a product. Okay. And this one, like, you can't use it on uh, sensitive skin. That's someone who's, like, super red mm -hmm. or anything like that. Anything that, like, causes it to feel heated on the skin. about 
with this product is that it makes the um, extractions like for blackheads come out so good mm, yeah okay. feels good mm -hmm. it's the granulars are so small like you can barely feel that it's like an exfoliant but it's yeah. doing the work i prefer that because i find sometimes it's too big for me like when i do the exfoliation it feels too rough okay And like you said, these are all your products that you have. Yes, all my products. Do you only sell your products to other uh, spa owners or do you sell it to individuals as well? Yeah, so I sell it to clients and I also sell it to spa owners. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah, and it's all organic, all natural. Great. Mm-hmm. Because I only like the natural stuff on my skin, so that's perfect. Yeah. do the toner again.
the steamer. Okay, let's put a little bit cold. I'm okay. freezing. You're freezing. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna do extraction. So I'm gonna Ooh. just take out whatever I saw earlier. Your juicy blackhead. Yes. This is exciting. I can't believe all this time I thought it was a thing of beauty. Wow. Because it, it started off not like deep the way it is now. It mm -hmm. became like that over time, but it was always there. I yeah. think it was deep like this probably for about deep seven years way. even. Yeah. So, because what happens is that also like the darker it is, mm -hmm. it just means it's been there the longest. Okay, yeah, it's definitely been there forever. Over my stomach. Mm -hmm. That was an interesting feeling. It came out a little. But with the hydro facial, we're gonna get it out even more. Cause I don't want to like bruise your skin either. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what causes it? Is it a buildup of oil or something? Yes, it's okay. sebum. The sebum that gets built up. I'm sure I have some on my nose then. Yes. Yeah. It really is part of my face. Yeah. So I see the the blackheads there. So I'm going to use like a tissue just to extract manually. Oh, yes. Ooh. These are fun. <laughs> I can tell you're enjoying it a little too much. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> but at least it's not in. painful, so hey, yeah. no complaints over here. I was going to see if I can zoom in to show. Ooh, damn. I like open my. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Got some nice teeth. Keep going. Yeah, so now, see, I'm getting those out. So there's some. Lying out. Look at this. Yes. Oh yeah. Woo. Lying out nicely. But I find like the product that I have, the candle nut scrub. Yeah. It helps. It helps so much just to get it out like that. Still surprised about that blackhead on my forehead. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you shocked me with that. No, it's all good. Like, damn. <laughs> Thinking it's a beauty mark all these years. Wow. There's a lot. Oh my god. You see it? I thought that was like. I don't even know. I noticed that before. Like, I had squeezed this out of my nose before, but I thought it was just, like, so pimple juice or something. <laughs> yeah, so you have some blackheads and you have whiteheads as well. Oh, yeah, yes. so it is whitehead. Yeah. And they're all from oil. Mm-hmm. So oil, debris, dust, that just gets built up in your pores, which is your ostium. So they just get built up in there it's just that's why it's important to exfoliate at least twice a week to prevent that buildup twice a week okay. yeah once or twice a week so right now I'm using my comedon extractor and it's coming out even more it might feel a little painful it doesn't feel that bad. This was like a slight pinch. So if you guys see that build up right on the corner of this, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's not right my there. nose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but overall like your skin is not bad anyways like that oily part there <laughs> like it's normal to have an oily nose like this it's a lot of oil for my little nose though no. <laughs> but it's not bad So I just double check if I need to extract more anywhere. Really at the corner here. Wow. Yeah, you know I have a lot there. Mm -hmm. Machine like with the suction is gonna help it even more. <laughs> so I got a hole in the middle of my head. <laughs> okay, let's do your chin. Let's see what's happening. I'm sure there. there's some there too. Mm. And I feel like there it comes and goes. It's not like my nose. My nose is like it's always there. Okay, yeah, there's some. I just have to squeeze a little bit tighter, but. Okay, and I'm also going to use the Covidon extractor just to help me a little bit more. You can even put your lips together. Okay, so I think we'll have it right under that lip area. Check the side of your face. Okay, I'm gonna do your ears. Okay. That's gonna be fun. Oh yeah. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> It's just a little oil and yeah, oil dry. it's weird. It's like my ear is like a combination of oil and dry. Mm -hmm. the, the oils might also be is probably from like what I put in my hair. It's probably actually naturally dry. Okay, yes. 
because I feel like I always have to take build up off of there like every day. Mm hmm. Mm, it's nice to get pampered. It is, right? Yeah, especially when you're so self-sufficient, like I just do everything for myself, so yeah. it's nice once in a while. And I can see a little bit behind the ears. Okay, so now we're going to do the other ear. And I'm just going to check the side of your face too to see if there's anything. with a hypodermic needle. Uh oh. Where are you like? Right? Oh that's not so bad. You can barely feel it. Yeah, because I have a random bump that I got there like two a couple days ago. Like, I tried to pop it although it wasn't a pimple. I don't <laughs> know what it is. I like to open them anyways and get the blood out because I find it helps to release the toxins okay. and it flattens it out. the common areas where you normally see the blackheads and the whiteheads like the nose the chin and the ears and the forehead yes mm -hmm. yeah normally it's in the t-zone but there's some people they have blackheads in their cheeks and you have to open it like you literally have to like open the skin like you see how i did this one yeah and get the blackhead out oh wow yeah glad i don't have that yeah So that person is probably more acneic. Yeah, I don't know someone who gets a lot of acne. Yeah. I don't even really, yeah. I mean, I get random pimples if I'm like under high stress, but it's very rare. Mm-hmm. Or if I'm like reacting to something. But yeah. Feels way better than cleaning my ear with a Q-tip. It does, eh? Yeah. It also may be because someone else is doing it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it does feel better. A Q-tip, it doesn't give that pressure. Yeah. No, it was just all the oil and, and dry skin. Mm, it's like a bump. Well, this was the residue. Mm. In my ears or from mm -hmm. everywhere? From your ears. Damn. Wait, hold on. Here. And the funny thing is, I literally, I mean, I guess it's not the same as using a Q-tip, but before I came here, mm -hmm. I cleaned my ears with Q-tips. Oh, okay. Twice today, actually, because in the morning, every time I take a shower, I always do it. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> it looks like someone didn't clean their ear and like, I mean, I know it's not earwax, it's the same thing, but yeah. it looks like I didn't clean my ears in like 10 years. <laughs> Serious. But your skin overall is like beautiful. This thing is beautiful. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
What's next? Okay, so right now I'm just gonna change the water. So we're gonna just remove all that residue. Oh, it's pink sponges. Those are pretty. I was expecting like those yellow brown sponges. do the hydrofacial okay it's the highlight yes oh what's that okay so this is gonna be the hydrofacial that I'm gonna be doing on her so it's gonna give her extra moisture I also did my own special solution in my hydrofacial machine um, and it's all natural products like nothing harsh or like crazy chemicals or anything like that and um, yeah Ooh, I'm excited. Yes. I had a hydrofacial. Yeah, yeah. All right. Good night. <laughs> You're like, good night. That sounds cool. What's happening? So the water is in here, and then it's going to go to the other side. Yeah. But not all of it. It's just like some of it that goes on. So is the water side. mixing with the solution? Yeah. So just so you guys see, this is the machine that I'm using. So you're aware of what machine I'm using because uh, I wanted you guys to see that. I'm just testing the pressure before I just go. So that's what it's going to do on my skin. It's going to go pop. Yeah. Okay. I was just about to ask you too, what should I expect? Yeah. So you're going to see like here, I'm going like this and there's like a suction. So that's what creates that extra hydration in your skin. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna just tell me if it's good. How is that pressure? It's fine. Yeah. I really feel anything. Okay. And what I love about the hydrofacial is that it gives like that extra plumpness to the skin too. Yeah. Feels good though. Mm -hmm. Like I can already see a major difference just by passing. Mm. And it helps with the pores. It really cleans it out. Okay. Yeah, it feels good. 
ceiling. Looking forward to saying it. There's like extra gunk coming out. Oh, delicious. Yeah. So the, the gunk that I couldn't get <laughs> is coming out even more now. Which is great. Eyebrows, because sometimes eyebrows get dry too. Yeah, mine do. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I only did like kind of one side of your face in a way and it looks so plump and nice on this side so right now this is how her skin is so i did her forehead and i did like that one side of her face so you can really see all that nice plumpness and that redness which is good for like the collagen production is what we're wanting so there's a lot of hydration on this side and as you can see like i still didn't get to do that side yet but we're gonna get it done so if you can see the comparison from this side, all that nice redness is what we want. And then here, we're going to get that side now. It's okay still? Starting to look nice and fun.
you said you were tired of on the ice, so mm -hmm. just gonna get some hydration in there too. Probably like sounds weird near the ears, but <laughs> <laughs> it's remixing what the grumbling stomach I have. <laughs> so, how did that feel? That part of the facial felt so. I don't know. It felt so good. It was really soothing. That's good. And relaxing. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Unlike anything I've ever felt before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna go near your nose.
and mount hyaluronic acid mount. It's gonna rehydrate your skin a lot and give you that extra moisture. So what's good is about this massage oil that I just used, you can also put the mask over the massage oil so it still keeps the skin hydrated. It's not, a it's not an oil that you need to remove. You can always put any product on top and when everything is ready to remove, you just remove at the end. So it's gonna be a little bit cold, okay? So while this mask is on, I'm also going to do radio frequency. So we're going to give her extra boost of collagen to her skin, elastin, we want it to heat up and that's going to just give that extra nice feeling to her skin and moisturization. The wet? So it does the same thing, it gives like a nice lifting effect as well. Okay. These are all like galvanic ones. That one's fancy. Uh huh. So it really helps for lifting the skin, boosting collagen. That's fancy. Uh huh. You feel this one warming up? It feels warm. Okay. So I'm not sure if the warm I'm feeling is just from going over on my face or if the machine's actually warm. Oh. No, I feel a little warmth actually. Okay. When you lifted it, I felt it. doing this is so that it can help the product penetrate more into your skin too mm -hmm. yeah. to give you that hydration and moisturization it feels amazing already yeah One of my 
my goals for this month was actually to up my skincare routine. So that's good. Take better care of my okay. skin. So now I'm going to remove the mask. I had time to settle. And what I love about this mask is that you can also leave it on all day. So you, you normally you would put less than what I put and uh, you can leave it on like all day and it will just like penetrate instead of like i guess you can use it as kind of like a moisturizer oh nice yeah so it's a two-in-one and these are all your products yeah well they feel amazing yes. Your skin definitely looks like so hydrated. It feels hydrated. Like I can yeah. feel the difference already. Yeah. My skin feels happy. Uh -huh. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna do another hot towel. Ooh. J'aime ça. Your pores look so good right now. <laughs> they feel good. Wow. My own face feels good. Mm -hmm. I don't remember my face ever feeling this good. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're going to do the toner again. Okay. I always thought toner was something related to makeup. Oh. Or is there a different type of toner? For makeup? Mm -hmm. Um, It could be the same thing, to be honest. Like before when they clean the skin? I don't really know. You know, I don't really wear makeup like that, but I just yeah. remember seeing it or something. Or like sometimes they spray after like a mist. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe that's what maybe I'm thinking that's about. What, yeah. Wow. 
Wow. Your skin? Like, <laughs> we shouldn't talk about four picture, but it's all good. <laughs> well, on the video, we have to perform. Kind of. <laughs> I guess I do in a way. You can probably, like, snap it. Yeah. It looks so revived. It feels revived. What? What? Feels like a lifetime of stress <laughs> has been stripped away. Oh, yeah. <sighs> wow. We're almost done. No, I'm not saying oh, okay. no. I'm not <laughs> signing from. I'm enjoying this. Hell, man. Let it take as long as it needs to. <laughs> okay, so I'm also putting the herbal collagen serum that I have. So this one is really good for skin type like yours that's more dry and as well it has vitamin c mm. so giving you that vitamin c that you need for your skin on a daily okay so this one i'm using the amino antioxidant cream because i really want to give you those extra antioxidants for your skin and it smells well. so good what <laughs> the flavor is this one uh flavor <laughs> You know what I mean, scent? scent? Girl, you know what I mean. I know. It smells edible, so that's why the good flavor came it out. It does. Probably doesn't taste edible. Let me close my mouth and stop talking. Oh, God. So this one, it gives you, like, extra hydration. So you can use this day and night, but let's say at night, it's really moisturizing. What's the scent? Sometimes too, like I'll leave the cream and just let it seep in. Yeah. But I'm gonna like massage it for you completely, but still keep keep like a nice moisture barrier. Five star treatment. Like if I'm at home, I'll just leave it. You know, <laughs> let yeah. it do its thing. So when you put this on at night, do you put anything else on before it or you just... Normally, like, you can cleanse, then do your toner. If you need to exfoliate, you just exfoliate. Yeah, and, and then, then, you then, put then you put that, yeah. And you find it stays, like, the whole night, like, when you wake up, your face is still moisturized? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm telling you, like, when you keep a daily uh, regimen, yeah. your skin doesn't go back to how it was. It literally, like, maintains itself. As long as you you are maintaining your skin too, right? yeah. then it does the job. Mm. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little lip balm. That smell is so good. <laughs> it's like strong, but not in like a overpowering way. It's like a pleasant, common way. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is just the lip balm super moisturizing feels nice yes I'm such a pro so we're all done well thank you for the luxurious five star treatment I feel amazing yes I'm happy and I look amazing yes I mean I already did but now I look extra extra amazing you know <laughs> went from like a 10 to like a you know at 12. <laughs> so I'm glad all went well. Skin is hydrated, skin is moisturized, y'all. Like, the real deal. Yeah, it feels soft. It smells good. It looks supple. Clear. Yes. It looks really clear. Yes, it does. It does. <laughs> like, I, I only had like a couple dark spots, but I don't even see them. It feels like I'm wearing foundation or something. Mm hmm.
<laughs> okay. So, thank you guys for watching. Like I said before, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you want the five star treatment, come see my girl Manavia. All right. Bye. Thank you.